Pretty success all began with fire and water, didn't it? What was happening before that? Was it a real struggle? Well, we'd been working uh, for, for two years uh, fairly solidly around England and Europe. And we'd had a f couple of singles out and two albums, which had done fairly well, you know, but nothing phenomenal. And then, then All Right Now came along, you know, and sort of was a hit in just about every major country. And it opened up the market incredibly. And we found that we were playing to countries that normally we, we would probably never have gone to. Yeah. Did you tour extensively in England before you came oh, out yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've done, been around England, you know, six or seven times. You know, we've had our own concert tours. Uh, but we started in the, in the little clubs, the little blues clubs, and then sort of graduated, I suppose, the ballrooms and now the concert halls. Wouldn't it be a lot easier to just uh, go into a recording studio and churn out a lot of records and have a really big promotion machine behind you rather than touring, because it must be really that's exhausting. Not, that's not lasting, really. Like, the way we started, we just played and played, you know, like the first year we'd play 12, 13 nights in a row all over England with maybe a couple of days off and then the same. And that was like for a year and we had never had a holiday once. Mm -hmm. And that way you, you play to the people. Mm -hmm. You develop musically on stage. And you build a good, strong, honest following rather than hype, you know. Have Free developed any stage act? You know, they have any sort of showmanship when they're on stage or they just stand and play? <laughs> We jump about all over the place. Has this something that sort of happened spontaneously or have you really worked on a stage act? Spontaneous. We've never really rehearsed for the whole time we've been together. I mean, when we feel aggressive, we are aggressive. When we feel mellow, we are mellow. When you're aggressive, do you break up your, your guitars or anything like that? Well, we save the guitars, but the amplifiers really catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think touring, you know, the continent of Australia is really worth the effort? You know, it must be physically exhausting for all of you. It's yeah, a, it, is. it is exhausting, but I mean, it's worth it to play once you get on the stage. After all, all the hassle is over, and the stage and the lights and the equipment, and you're there, it's worth it. Do you think sometimes musically, you know, your work suffers? Um... Well, no, it, it tends to express what you've been through, really. I mean, if you've had, if you feel mellow because you've had a nice flight with a nice sunset, then that's how you play it. But if there's been a lot of hassles, the gear tends to suffer, <laughs> like Andy says. Have you been pleased with the response from the Australian audiences? The Australian audiences have really been nice. We had no idea, you know, what to expect, but it's been great. And when you get on stage, you do realise that it's, it's the kids that you've come for, you know, they're the kids who are buying the album and want to see you. And although it's only for now, you've got to try and forget the other 23 and the other people and their various motives. It's good. What are Free intending to do when they go back to England? Rest. rest. <laughs> I tell you. A long rest.